provision of critical infrastructure is essential for effective service delivery. This may have informed the federal government's decision to reconstruct internal roads at the neuropsychiatric hospital in Abel Kota, the Ogun State Capital. As a provost, management team, staff and students of the hospital gather to witness the official commissioning and handing over of the 1.35 kilometer roads. According to the Minister of Works and Housing, represented by the Ogun State Federal Controller of Works, Mr. Uma Bakare, this is part of the critical interventions taking place in federal institutions across the country. The gap of our infrastructure needs is steadily being bridged by a gradual process of repairs, renewal, and construction on major highways. And it has reached the schools and other federal institutions. It is undebatable that quality of healthcare delivery will be impacted by the quality of infrastructure and the environment. And those who doubt it should simply listen to some of the feedback from staff in the hospitals where this type of intervention has taken place. The provost, who also doubles as the chief medical director of the hospital, could not hide his admiration for the prompt action by the federal government. I want you, sir, to convey our appreciation to the Honorable Minister of Works and Housing and to particularly mention what we just said. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people, your, your press have interviewed them. They have expressed their delight seeing that this road network is done. The hospital management believes this facelift will improve their service delivery and appeals that constant maintenance be carried out on these roads.